ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this special feature. I'm your host, Samir, and today we will be unraveling the art of purchasing real estate in Delhi NCR. As urbanization accelerates, individuals and businesses are seeking properties that foster a sense of community and well-being. Enter MR India, a leading player in the industry renowned for its visionary approach and the commitment to excellence. Joining us as we delve into MR's latest venture, Urban Oasis, and MR's unwavering dedication to creating spaces that elevate the human experience in Delhi NCR is Mr. Kalyan Chakrabarti, the CEO of MR India. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Kalyan, it's a pleasure to have you in this feature. My pleasure. So the first question, uh, you know, the urban properties have gained popularity for the promise of top class amenities and the significance of um, green environment that they are providing. Uh, Mr. Kalyan, could you elaborate on the unique features that Urban Oasis as a project offers to buyers in Delhi and NCR? Sure. So Urban Oasis is uh, located in golf course extension in Gurgaon, as you know, so one yeah. of the most upcoming places in Gurgaon and a fairly premium uh, sector. Right. Yeah. And the customer, as we see over the last uh, several years in particular, with the economy doing better, uh, has become very discerning. They expect a particular kind of product which addresses their core requirements. Right. In this moment, as we see, uh, post-pandemic in particular, health and sustainability are two core philosophies around which uh, we have viewed this particular uh, product in particular. So the location is definitely a positive. Right. We have got the amenities which are surrounding uh, this location, which are the top notch. So a brilliant gym with a nice swimming pool and a garden which is to be talked about, or a, or a tree plaza that we call a spa which goes with it, a fairly large sized uh, clubhouse. Amazing. And the sustainability aspects of it, you know, limited energy, limited or rather net energy which is uh, nearly zero. Those are some of the things and the custom construction material that we use, for example, keeping sustainability in mind. Right. We have this concept called Griha, which is essentially a certification around how things work out. Uh, dedicating a large amount of green space across. Hmm. Creating the ability to have sports integrated into your daily life. Hmm. Whether you want to own a walk or your children want to play. Those are some of the things which automatically get integrated into the whole thing. And obviously we have kept in mind the social amenities nearby for which the city has provided but we have taken advantage of it. Whether it is schools, hospitals and all of that are in close proximity. Right. And uh, and a vibrant community gets built around these three or four concepts. But primarily it boils down to eco-sensitivity or sustainability and a healthy living. Amazing. That's very reassuring for any buyer. Thank you. Now let's also, uh, Mr. Kalyan, touch upon the Digi Homes project, you know. With Digi Homes handled over the last year, we, there are, you know, what are the, some of the highlights that you, the buyers, you know, they, they drew affinity and what drew the buyers to come and, you know, buy the DG homes. Can you please elaborate, tell us a little bit about the powder issue? So I think why the buyers came about four years ago versus why the buyers come today will probably be slightly different. Exactly. Because four or five years ago, it was a promise of the brand right. to deliver something. Right. The, the brand has pro delivered what it had promised. So to that extent, that is that uh, subtle difference between the two. Uh, DG Homes has two distinguishing features. One is the digital aspect of technology usage mm. in order to make or integrate technology into our daily lives. Right. In the in the phones or in a smart home kind of thing. Uh, when we launched it, smart home was just about taking off. Uh, so whether it is uh, through spoken commands, you kind of control all your devices at your home. Oh, amazing. Bring some devices uh, which work exclusively through digital technology, whether a grip gets closed or open, or AC gets on or off, or a screen or a glass which is separating your private space from your public space, goes frosted or uh, transparent right. at the at the command, or for that matter, your door key kind of is fully digitized. So those are some of the things which we had integrated at that point in time, and it received pretty uh, good response. Yeah, but more critically, I think the customers are looking for a brand which uh, lives up to the promise that Correct. makes Correct. on day one. Right. Uh, so not only did we keep the promise to the customer of delivering what we promised, but also we did it um, on time, in fact, ahead of time. 
Absolutely. Which I think, given the pandemic, well, so which this particular project had to go through as a result, then we apply yeah. side challenges, right. both of labor as well as material. But to overcome that and still be on time uh, is creditable. So I think combination of that. Of course, the amenities, the location, all of that positivity goes through. And uh, the customer is also happy because fiscally speaking or financially speaking, right. the customers are far better off. You know, they agree. He has seen multiplication. Right. Those who own and continue to own, they are getting good rentals. And uh, those who have moved in, I get good feedback from mm-hmm. them. So they are pretty happy. And the capital appreciation has been a significant positive mm-hmm. for those who have bought and are still owning. So largely, as long as the customers are happy, we are happy. So talking about busy homes, I think, uh, Mr. Kalyan, I missed on something four years back. I think I should have rather put my money in this project. I had luck, but it always repeats. So next time, I think uh, you should make sure you go. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Well, that was too insightful, Mr. Galyan. Um, but at the same time, can you also share MR India's vision as far as, you know, um, MR business district, particularly focusing on the integration of shop come office spaces? Sure. So I think Indian economy or Indian uh, life in general has revolved around uh, neighborhood uh, shopping or neighborhood right. trade or for millennia. Uh, obviously, the organization recent years, in the last decade or two, has led to spawning of malls of various kinds. Right. Coming up. Right. So, this is our little contribution to make sure that the neighborhood retail sustains. And there are, of course, uh, these these are parcels which are in critical locations. And uh, around residential uh, locations, you do have these walk-in small shops and small offices. Right, sir. Uh, for, you know for the neighborhood retail to continue. Mm. So this is not large format retail. So you sell a small piece of land where plot or where people put up three or four floors of retail. Yeah. And typically what happens is the first and second floor gets dedicated towards the retail mm. and the third and fourth floor goes towards uh, office. Yeah. What happens in my, in my opinion in the process is it uh, brings in a lot of ability to create uh, entrepreneurial action on the ground. Correct. Because when you are starting something, yeah. you need these small offices which these places can provide. And many entrepreneurs who are into professional services, right. chartered accountants, uh, legal people or doctors, many a times they do not necessarily scale. Hmm. They create a space for themselves, hmm. use it almost like an office hmm. and their business runs out. Uh, there are not too many places which provide that kind of a product to them in a single integrated manner where it is a community of shopkeepers or a community of office uh, owners. Correct. So this is our uh, product towards that. So we have come up with this and it has gone pretty well at it. We encourage it. That's great. And I think uh, the buyer is quite educated at this time. And uh, especially when you talk about uh, the entrepreneurial uh, spirit, be it doctors or let's say lawyers or HR consultants. I think there's a, you know, there's a dire need of uh, solutions like this for professionals. And um, I think that arrives me again to finally, you know, ask you in terms of what is your projection of the Indian real estate uh, market in the next few years, maybe five years, ten years down the line, uh, Mr. Galen. First and foremost, Samir, uh, Indian economy is the most important driver of real estate as a sector. Absolutely. Like if the economy does well, every sector starts doing. It's like a barometer. Yes. Yeah. So the macro has been doing very well for last uh, eight to ten years, mm. and my hope is given the specifics of how the tailwinds are, they are favoring the Indian economy. We have done better than most economies on inflation. We have done better than most economies on growth. Pack. Mm. We are doing better than our most economies on human indices with respect to improvement year over year. That's right. Infrastructure, obviously, we are spending uh, like anything. Our quality of infrastructure is matching that of uh, the best of the economies in the world now. Uh, so, world-class infrastructure combined with all this economic uh, performance essentially forms a very good background. Absolutely. To do well. Point number one. Point number two, when the economy does well, the income starts growing. Correct. Savings start growing. Uh, and with globalization, where people travel more and more, the aspiration has started uh, going up as well absolutely so all these form very nice uh, you know system nice background for real estate to do well so as you know real estate today contributes close to about nine percent to correct that's right projections are in the next 15 years mm-hmm. touch somewhere around 12 to 13 percent that's a huge contribution that's a huge shift it's a huge shift you for real estate sector yeah. occupy a larger slice of the pie from 9 to 13 that means the real growth in the real estate sector will have to be faster than that of the country's 
Correct. So the country is uh, uh, on a real basis going at around 12 to 3rd percent, 13 percent nominal basis. My board said. Hmm. Hmm. And my hope is it will India has a potential to grow about 8 to 10 percent on a real basis. Correct. And maybe about 13 to 16, 17 percent also on a nominal basis. Hmm. That being the case, I think real estate will see anywhere between 15 to 20 percent on nominal basis. That's amazing. That is tremendous. That is tremendous. So I see that as a huge positive. I also see serious consolidation which has happened in real estate in the last 10 years. Hmm. Governance uh, related improvements, ethic related improvement, value system, those are getting treasured and valued by the customer. Correct. Trust is easier to enjoy when you display these things. Absolutely. From customers. Right. And I see that becoming more and more of a trend going yeah. forward. Yeah. Product wise, obviously, you know, you will see better and better products coming. Yeah. Competition for the customer's wallet and customer's mind space is going to be tough and difficult yeah. going forward. But it is going to be a pleasant uh, competition to be in. Yes. Uh, but those are some of the things that I see very clearly. Uh, with respect to other parts of real estate, I do see significant uh, change on the alternative assets. So, so far, traditionally, it has been residential, commercial. Hmm. We have been seeing, but I do see significant improvement in hospitality. Okay. For example, hotel number of fees supply going up. Uh, I see improvement in data centers because technology in India is spreading in a big way. The impact right. of that is in the data center will provide more and more space. And data privacy laws will essentially mean there will be more and more demand on that. Right. Warehousing similarly. Consumption stories on the up. Uh, that would require city-based warehousing in our outskirts of the city warehouse. Completely with you on that. So I see transformational changes. Yeah. I do see that happening. And the last uh, change which is also happening is uh, urbanization. Hmm. What happened to China about 25 years ago, what happened to the states probably earlier part of the century right, yeah. is happening to India now. We are seeing urbanization picking place in a big way. Cities are becoming larger. And with cities becoming larger, the economy of scale of providing a citizen a particular service improves. And real estate to me will be at the forefront of that. Providing good quality living spaces, providing good quality office spaces, uh, working spaces, and good quality entertainment spaces. Correct. One of that, the owners lies on us as real estate developers to make sure that we give what the customer expects from us. Right. No, I think um, I, I'm so fantastically covered. And um, I think MR as a group, has a proven track. Uh, there are projects that we spoke to our uh, listeners and our viewers already. And uh, with with the kind of numbers that you that you throw you know on the table, I think there's tremendous amount of confidence building which is already set in in the buyers. And with the disposable income, I think that there's tremendous amount of growth thank in the country, uh, Mr. Kalyan. And um, I really want to thank you for uh, your time and insights, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As we conclude the discussion, it is evident that AMAR's expansion and the launch of its project, which is Urban Oasis, exemplify the company's commitment to redefining residential experiences in Delhi and CR. With its commitment to excellence, AMAR is positioned to shape the future of real estate in India with its innovative approach and unwavering dedication to excellence. Thank you. Mr. Kalyan, and thank you everyone for joining us for this special feature. This is your host, Samir, signing off for the day. Take care and stay safe. You'll see you around in the corner once again. Watch. Thank you, sir.